Welcome back to Cooking with Ash. It's a pleasure to have you in the kitchen today with me. And I will be showing you guys step by step on how to achieve this beautiful roasted lamb brined in pineapple juice. The meat is so succulent and delicious. It's going to be a feast on your holiday table. So let's get prepping. The holidays is quickly approaching and I will be showing you my recipe for some delicious lamb and this is like so so good you have to try it it's a must try i have here about three pounds of boneless leg of lamb you know they remove the bone i am going to brine this and then we're going to bake it off and it's going to be succulent juicy and delicious so i have here one cinnamon stick that i went and break up you know whenever you're using cinnamon stick you have to break it up because that's when you get the real strength of the um, cinnamon and the flavor. I have some dry orange peel here. You know, I just toss a few. I have like a few pieces of rosemary and you know, rosemary goes amazing with lamb. A few pieces of thyme. I'm going to add some bay leaves in this. You know, I'm just eyeballing everything right now, guys. No measurement really and a few um, allspice. We're gonna brine this lamb and we're gonna have some intense, delicious flavor. And a few pieces of cloves. To this, I'm going to go ahead and add one third cup of salt. Salt that baby up. And the star of the show is pineapple juice. Pineapple juice, yes! So we're going to use like a whole um, 44 ounce of um, pineapple juice. You want to submerge this lamb in it. Make sure it's like covered nicely. We're going to go ahead and pop a lid on this, you know, and put it in our refrigerator. Leave it to marinate overnight. You can do this anywhere from 24 to 48 hours and enjoy this delicious lamb. When this come out, it's going to absorb that pineapple juice flavor, all these intense spices that we add in here. And when we bake it, we're gonna have a rich, vibrant color and it's going to be simply delicious. So as you can see, this is completely submerged in this. I'm just going to go in with the same measuring cup and make sure press everything down. I don't wanna dirty a spoon or anything of the sort. Make sure everything is nice and pressed down and all the flavors are marrying in here. I'm gonna go ahead, pop a lid in this and pop it into my refrigerator. Let me finish out the can so this can be submerged completely. So see you guys back in 24 hours. So this is what our lamb is looking like after brining for 24 hours. It's looking nice. I went ahead and took it out like about an hour now from the refrigerator so it can be, you know, come to room temperature. You do not want to start roast um, cold lamb, you know. It's just going to confuse the whole meat, the meat itself, and the meat is going to shrink and it's not going to relax and you're not going to get a nice, juicy, flavorful lamb. I'm using here, I have here half cup of fresh garlic. I slice some up because I'm going to push some into the lamb. And I keep some whole because this is going to go into the marinade that I'm going to further prepare to season this lamb. Of course, you know, lamb pairs nicely with rosemary. And I have here about a handful of rosemary. I went ahead and pulled out this, you know, the tough part, the tough stem from the rosemary. Uh, this is what I'm talking about, the bigger pieces. And I have here like a handful too of um, fine leaf thyme. Again, I shred the, the, the thick parts out of it. And this is my dry rub that I will be using. I'm gonna incorporate it together. So basically what I have in this bowl is paprika, some black pepper. I also add some onion powder, garlic powder, and brown sugar and mix everything up nicely. And I'm using some grapeseed oil. If you cannot find grapeseed oil or you don't have grapeseed oil, go ahead and use olive oil. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do, I'm gonna go ahead and put this, this seasoning in my food processor and pulse them. And then we're gonna prepare the lamb to go into our oven. My food processor, I'm going to go ahead and add some of the garlic, the one some that I chopped up. I'm, I still have it here on the board. I'm gonna go in with my rosemary 
and my thyme. You want to get everything there, and I'm going to pulse this slightly. I still want chunks of it. I don't want it to be, you know, too puree. I want it to be chunky and nice. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and pulse this slightly. This is what it's looking like. One ingredient I forgot to mention, it was some weary -wee -wee pepper. So I'm going to add some weary -wee -wee pepper, pulse that in. And the weary -wee -wee pepper is optional if you don't care for, you know, too much spice in your food. I went ahead and discard the liquid that my lamb was soaking in or brining in. And I have a piece of paper towel here. I'm going to, you know, go ahead and pat this dry. And I like that nice piece of fat layer on top of the lamb. Of course, when I discard the liquid, I run some, you know, clean water on it to, you know, get rid of any excess salt or the brine. So I'm just going to remove this paper towel, set it on our cutting board. And I'm going to proceed with the second step of stabbing some hole into this lamb and i'm doing it as you can see like in a slant way like sending the knife slant use my fingers to open it and i'm gonna start stuffing some garlic into it you can also um, stuff some um, rosemary if you would like here but um, it's not necessary because i did it in my dry rub so i'm gonna stuff it into there so I'm going to proceed to do all, you know, the top of the lamb. Stuff it well with this garlic. And then I'm going to come back and show you the next step. I went ahead and, you know, add my garlic inside of the lamb. This is what our chopped up herbs are looking like. I am going to go in and add my grapeseed oil here. And I'm doing about a cup or so of the grapeseed oil. And of course go in with my fingers <laughs> or you can use a mixing tool whatever is easier for you and I'm just gonna add some of our dry rubs in, in here and it's getting that beautiful rich color look at that wow and it's so fragrant sorry about the way I'm talking I am so stuffy right now so I'm gonna turn this over my allergies been acting up and I'm gonna start to rub this into our lamb and as you can see the lamb like you know it has like slits in it get into all those nooks and crack that's what you want this is going to be so flavorful juicy and delicious imagine cutting into this serving it to your guest or your family on Christmas Day oh they're gonna be so happy imagine the brine with the pineapple you want to massage this really really well into your your lamb get all that rosemary garlic pepper that dry herbs get everything in so what i usually do i usually roll it up like that you know give it a nice roll and then I'm going to season on the outside. I'm just going to grab my twine and I'm going to tie this up. And then we're going to season on the outside. And we're going to grab our roasting pan and start roasting this bad boy. So I went ahead and tie it up nicely, you know, tuck it in nicely. I'm not the best tie person, okay? <laughs> and I'm just massaging the outside of this with the rest of the marinade that we have. Whatever little bit is left in the bowl, it's okay. We're gonna use it to baste the lamb throughout the cooking process. But this is what it's looking like. It's smelling divine. Look at that. Who's hungry? Imagine that rich color that it's gonna, you know, get from this. Oh, I have my roasting pan here. I just went ahead and roughly chopped some celery and tossed it to the bottom of the pan. and. You can put veggies here, you can put potato, carrots, whatever veggies you like, you can put here. I am not using any veggies, I'm just doing the celery because I'm preparing my potato on the side. There is a different way I love to prepare the potato with this and my veggies on the side. But if you want to make it a one meal, you know, a one pot meal, whatever, roast, you can do it that way too as well. You can add stuff there. I'm going to go ahead and add a cup of water to the bottom of the pan. And that is going to help pick up the drippings 
that the lamb is going to release and we can make a nice gravy out of it. And you don't want when the drippings fall at the bottom of the pan, you know, it started burn. So uh, I'm gonna put more than uh, probably like a two cups of water to coat the bottom of the pan. This prevents the drippings from burning and stuff like that. I'm gonna go ahead and put our rose there so it's gonna get heat throughout. You know, it's gonna get heat throughout the meat and it's gonna be so flavorful and delicious. All this dripping on the cotton board. Go ahead, the seasoning. Go ahead and pour it over the lamb. This is all flavors right here. So I have my oven preheating 350 degrees Fahrenheit. I am going to bake my lamb because I like my lamb well done. I don't like pinkness in my lamb. I'm gonna bake it for two hours and 10 minutes and the internal temperature should read, if you stick a thermometer into it, it should read 83 degrees Celsius. If you like your lamb medium rare, go ahead and roast this 350 degrees Fahrenheit for one hour, 10 minutes. Internal temperature should read uh, about 63 degrees, okay? So when you stick a thermometer inside, Celsius. So I'm gonna go ahead, push my lamb in the oven and I'm gonna check it every like half an hour and I'm gonna baste the top of it with this extra little marinade that we have left. So everything is going to be flavorful and delicious. So see you throughout the cooking process. 30 minutes into the cooking process, I am going to go in, pull this open. Look at that. It's looking so beautiful already. And the extra marinade that we have, I'm just gonna baste it at the top of this lamb. It's smelling so divine in this kitchen. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna keep doing this process through, throughout the cooking process. I'm gonna keep doing this every half an hour. Come in here and baste this, this lamb really nice with our extra marinade. Look at all that drippings that we're having. That's gonna make a beautiful gravy. Mm, juicy and nice. Look at that. Look at that. And this is only 30 minutes in the cooking. While our lamb is um, roasting in the oven, I am going to go ahead and prepare the simple potato that I usually do, but it's so flavorful. It's like with garlic and butter and some seasoning. So we're gonna start off with some baby potatoes, these little rung potatoes. Some of them are bigger in pieces, so I went ahead and cut them in half. Here I have some water. I'm gonna add them to my water. I'm gonna salt my water and bring this to a boil. We want our potato to be like al dente in the sense when you push a knife through it comes out clean we don't want it to be too soft and soggy soggy you know we want it to be al dente so we're gonna take it over to the stove and start that process and then i'll show you the other ingredients i will be using to finish this delicious potato off to prepare our garlic for our um, potatoes i just have some freshly peeled garlic here and i'm just using um my moat and pestle and motor and pestle and just crush everything nicely here. You wanna release all that oil from the garlic. And this is how I soften it really nice. You know, make it more into a paste to add to our delicious potatoes. This is what our potato is looking like. And this is how you know it's finished when a knife goes in very clean, effortless and easy. So I'm gonna go ahead and drain these and we're gonna start preparing them. Here are our potato. These are the other ingredients I will be using. I have here some fresh chopped up garlic um, that I pung and release the juice out of it, you know, the oil. I have here some fresh cut up cilantro, a little bit of black pepper. You just need a pinch, not a lot of black pepper, like half a teaspoon. I have parsley flakes and we're gonna use a pinch, when I mean a pinch, a pinch of paprika with one stick of butter. And I went ahead and add my butter and I'm gonna add the garlic now because I want the garlic to start infuse the butter because this is going to be very quickly flash fried. Now that my butter melt down nicely there and it's been infused with the garlic, we're not looking to brown this garlic or fry it up too much, you know. We want the, the garlic to just infuse the butter and that's what it's looking like as you can see. It's frying up nicely there. 
I'm gonna go in with our potatoes and we want to toss everything in nicely here let the potatoes start to suck up the butter and the garlic mmm imagine those flavors I'm gonna go in with our parsley flakes in goes our paprika remember just a pinch of it in goes our black pepper and you want to combine everything nicely together let all this flavor marry together cook a little bit you can go ahead and taste it if you need salt here but I think it should be fine because we salted our water but go ahead and taste it if you would like to add salt to it you can go ahead and add salt but that's it I'm gonna turn off my stove and now I'm gonna go in with the fresh cilantro toss everything back together and transfer this to my serving dish yes you want this potato to be buttery and nice you want it to suck up that nice buttery juice and as it sits it's gonna suck up it nicely it's like the butter is like a butter garlic sauce on the potato mm. so there you have it we'll have our taste tester let you guys know what it tastes like this is what our finished lamb is looking like and look at that so juicy moist look at that caramelization and this is what our gravy is looking like you know i just um strain out all the garlic and everything that fell into it and have a nice smooth gravy i didn't add flour and thicken it make a roux and thicken it but we have a taste tester and she already started digging okay she got no way so go ahead and that's rio behaving bad in the background cut it oh that's so soft cut a smaller piece that's too big <laughs> cut it back smaller <laughs> Not so big pieces. Let's do this piece. Is this piece good? Yeah, nice, soft, and juicy. Look at that. I think it does look juicy. Take that little piece and taste it for them. Okay. Don't do big, big pieces and choke. Got my sauce. <laughs> there is more um, of the gravy if you wanted. That's so soft and moist. Try the potato for them. You already had potato, but she loved that potato. You can cut it, Atiana. Don't take big pieces in your mouth. Okay. And look how soft and nice that potato is with all that gravy soaking it up. Mm. So flavorful. Mm. So is it a yay or nay? A yay. So there you have it, guys. I hope this makes it on your Christmas table. You enjoy it with your friends and family. Thank you so much for joining us in the kitchen. Sending our love, thanks, and gratitude. Happy holidays. Look at that perfection. Cooked to perfection.